Hey everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video, we learned about object-oriented programming concept. Okay, and today we are going to learn about classes and object. Okay, so let me pull up a good uh, image for you. So class and object in Python. So basically, what a class is? Class is is a prototype, a uh, map through which we can uh, create multiple items, right? So before creating a house, we create a map, right? And then by referencing that particular map, we create our own home. Right, so that is something we will define as a class, right? And what is object? Object is an instance through which we call a, a class, right? So let us take an example of our image. Okay, so let us take the example of this particular stuff. See, so here what we can see in the image. Um, just give me a moment. All right. So here, as you can see on the image, that a prototype of a class is created, and then based upon the requirement, we change the class accordingly. Okay. So here the color of the car is red. Here is blue and here is green, and then we gave it a brand name that is Ford, Toyota, and Volkswagen, right? So that is the concept of class. What is an object? I an object. You are object. Everything which exists in the world is an object, right? So here, when you tap, so here we have created a prototype of class, okay? A concept, and then when a concept is implemented, and we got a final output that is an object, okay? All right. Let us take another example. See, a class and object. A class is a prototype by taking that functionality. Like we are, we want this particular stuff. These are the properties that it it should have. So a class consists of these are the properties that it will contain this property. And when it is implemented, it is implemented through an object. Let us create a program so that you can have a better clarity of it. Let me create a new file named class.py. Okay, and uh, what I'll do. I'll just close the console and yeah, get rid of these things. Okay. So how we would be defining a class? So in order to define a class, we make use of a class keyword and the name of the class. Here we are taking an example of a phone, right? So type phone over here and make sure that the initial letter of the class name is in caps. Okay. So we have defined the class and now we are defining the properties that it should possess. So I want a phone to make a call. And I want a phone to play a video and then play a music. Okay. So let's say make call, make underscore call. Okay. And then we are going to pass and self argument. What it is, I am going to explain it later. Self. And now I want to print over the console that calling. Moving forward with the next item that is play video. So video. Pass the argument of self. Okay, now print opening YouTube. And now uh, define a new item that is music. And here the self argument. And print uh, playing music. Okay. So here we have defined a class and these are the items, these are the attributes that it is going to possess, okay? Now, how do we uh, create an object, right? So uh, as I mentioned that class is a prototype, right? And in order to access a class, we should have an object. So in order to create an object, just type object name equals to class name. And here it would be phone, all right? How do I access the element? So class name dot operator and the function that you want to access here i am going to access the self that is make call okay now i mentioned that self is an argument so what will happen when i remove this so let us remove this and when i execute this particular stuff you'll get an error definitely it is saying that phone call takes zero positional argument but one was passed to it so that positional argument is nothing but self Okay, and now when you execute the program, you will see that that particular stuff has been printed over the console that is calling, right? So what we did, we created a class named phone, provided the basic functionality, we created an object, and then we access the class by the objects. Okay, this is the relationship between classes and object. Now, what will happen when I do something like this? P1 dot video and P1 dot music. Let me run this. See, it is printing. Now, how many objects can I create? 
multiple objects there is no count for it okay so let us say i create another object for here let us say something like this let me comment this thing out and create a separator just for our reference i'll create another object over here that would be p2 equals to home okay and i'll access the uh class elements by the object so p2 dot make call and then p2 dot video and then p2 dot music okay so we have created the objects p1 and p2 and now we are accessing the elements and now when i execute the program you can see it is printing all the things which we have derived it from a class right so that's the relationship between classes and object and hope you got the concept in a very efficient manner right see you in the next one and have a great day bye bye